Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins, and this video is one that I'm releasing from my Patreon page. My patrons get extra content, and this was a video that I created a while back on gesture sketching, and I thought it would be a great lesson because this month's theme in Monet Cafe is figures in a landscape. So I hope you enjoy this lesson released from my Patreon page. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos and also a quick shout out to my actual patrons they're the ones with their five dollar a month support contribution that keep these free videos coming to people literally all over the world god bless you patrons if you'd like to become a patron you can do so at patreon.com slash susan jenkins hello patrons and welcome to this week's homework assignment which is gesture sketching or gesture drawing i'm going to explain a little bit about it and give you the details now the definition of gesture drawing is drawings that are done very quickly and are meant to show movement or, or the position of a figure. These are for planning purposes and not meant to be finished artworks. Now in our case we're not really in a planning purpose but the point of this is to develop your ability to create a lively uh, stroke to your artwork. Have you ever seen painters that just do that? Their strokes just seem so full of life and this can be accomplished by doing lots of these little gesture drawings and it doesn't have to be with a human form as I will explain in a minute. Following are some examples of gesture drawings, some done with the human hand. You can do this with uh, little animal uh, reference images if you have them. You can do this with a interesting kind of scribbly style. So the sky's the limit. And if you do choose to use the human form, the point is to capture that gestural quality or movement. We're going to keep it simple, and I'm loving these little assignments. I love how much you're participating. I hope you're enjoying them, and I'm trying to keep them not just about uh, let me copy this that you painted. I'm trying to build on drawing skills, sketching skills, keeping a painterly style. So hopefully this will also be a lesson in that. All right, let's get started. Okay, for this homework assignment, you just need some simple materials, a little sketch pad, a pencil or a charcoal pencil or a piece of vine charcoal, whatever you choose to use. And what this is called is gesture drawing or gesture sketching. It's something that I did back in graphic design um, when I had a, an art class. I didn't have many art classes, but I had a, an art teacher that was really good and she had us literally go out in life and find something that was moving, actually. You don't have to do it with something moving. And sketch each um, little sketch could only be like 10 seconds. It might have even been less than that. So I would go to the mall. She'd require over the weekend for us to have like 200 gesture sketches. Now, that sounds crazy, and I thought it sounded crazy at first, um, until I realized how fast these literally are. You're, and trust me, when you first start them, they feel so awkward. They feel strange. Um, you want to start to get more meticulous and slow down and work on every little thing. And then by the end, after you do so many of them, you start to develop that style. But you'll start seeing how you can develop a looser, more gestural quality in your work when you, uh, when you do these little exercises. So enough of me talking. Let's get started. All right. Now, the term gesture drawing, I think, predominantly applies to the human form. Um, you know, the word gesture sounds like, you know, something that's animate. And, uh, and humans have gesture and animals have gesture. Um, but you don't have to do a, if you don't have one of these mannequins, you can find something in life if you want some people or something. But you can also do an inanimate object for this. The point is to get that quick sketch, that gestural feel to whatever you're drawing. Even if it's an apple, you can basically just turn it in different directions, sketch it relatively quickly, and move on. Keep those sketchy lines too. Don't worry about your lines being perfect. That's part of it. You know, we want to keep this loose and free. But if you are using a little mannequin or a model um, that is kind of typical with gestural drawing, um, one of the points of it is to get the line of gesture, the, um, the motion. Let me um, zoom back a little bit so you can kind of see him at the same time. Um, I want to look at right now, what do I see that's kind of dynamic in, in the gesture of, of him or her? Um, it is I, it, it's kind of like the head and the spine, and I see this head's kind of, um, it's kind of got a little, his chest is kind of coming out a little bit, 
and kind of like this. So then we can do the head. He's got that little neck thing. His little chest is kind of coming out like that. And then his hips are kind of going back. So you're getting that line of gesture. And you see how it already feels a little bit gestural, how he's moving. Um, and then you just, I don't, he doesn't have a hand, so I'll just make one up. And uh, then you kind of finish it out. So it's really just to try to get a sense of, of feeling and gesture. Now, once again, if you're doing an inanimate object, the point of the lesson then will be, you know, just to sketch quickly and get that, that neat, sketchy um, kind of quality to your painting. So get that line of gesture first if you're doing a, a human form. And, you know, even if you don't like drawing or, you know, working with humans, this exercise will still help you because if you're enhancing your drawing skills and your um, ability to sketch in a painterly loose way, you're going to really advance whatever type of uh, subject matter that you like. All right, so let's do another one. You see how I got that little kind of like, you know, I am proud walking down the street kind of motion. All right, let's do something else to get a gestural quality. Um, I think he lost his hand because I'm probably too too hard on him. Um, let's do like, um, something like that. Okay, so the line of gesture for something like that would be this kind of, like I said, I kind of think about the spine. He's kind of hunched over, and then he's got a leg that's kind of coming out and down here. So we've got the head. The line of gesture really does seem to help. We've got the body here. His little chest is kind of like right in here. And again, I, I read something that said 45 seconds on these. And I think you can, I'm not taking 45 seconds to do these. You can do them faster than that. But it'll, it'll really help you to loosen up and to learn to paint um, with more expression or draw, paint and draw with more expression. Um, so uh, give these a try. I'll give the homework parameters um, uh, in the beginning of how many to do and uh, how to turn it in. So, all right, let's do one more. Okay, so what's this line of gesture? I hope you can see him. Your angle is not the same as mine. He's kind of like, I'm gonna do this one bigger. Okay, so we've got head. We've got this body's kind of, hey, look at me. Kind of curved over like, like the shoulder's kind of cocked back here. Again, I don't know where the forearm is. Hips are, it's got kind of an S-shaped curve to this guy. Hips are kind of curved. I didn't quite get this one. I think the other ones I got were a little better. And these do not have to be that proportionate or anything. It's just to start working um, more quickly and with more feeling. I think that's the, the neat thing about gesture drawing. His shoulder was up a little higher. That's what I'm missing there. He's like got his shoulder cocked up there. All right, so get that line of gesture, work quickly, and um, have fun with these. You know, this is not supposed to be um, anything where you're like, Oh, my work has to be so perfect. It's, it's about fun and loosening up. All right. Following, I'm going to give some examples of other things that you can do for gesture drawings. They don't have to be people. Now, I did a little uh, gesture sketching um, with some cows the other day. Um, the cows that are in my backyard by my, uh, past, I mean, by the pasture in my backyard. And uh, cows are pretty good for doing this because they don't move too quickly. And if something moves too quickly, it, I think this just becomes too hard to do. Like you, you don't want to do like kids playing in your living room floor because they're just, you know, moving around too fast for you to even get uh, where their body is in, in space. So uh, cows are good. Um, 
like I said, in my class, I used to go to the mall and sit and just sketch people as they were ordering something or sitting down reading a book, you know, or whatever. And um, so I just sketched in some of the cows. And it, again, it feels kind of weird when you first start doing this, but uh, it gets better the more that you do it. Now, before we get to the inanimate objects, I did do a few more of these. And I actually did these uh, incorrectly in my book. If you notice one thing I'm not doing in these, I forgot about doing that first gesture mark. Like I said, almost like the spine, like you saw me do at the beginning. And while, you know, these were okay, I didn't quite have that gestural feel as the ones you saw closer to the beginning of the video. So if you do choose to use one of these mannequins or a real life person, then uh, be sure to try to get that gestural stroke to get started with. It really does make a difference. Uh, now I will give the instructions as to uh, the specifics of the homework in the description of this Patreon post. So as always, it's over the weekend. You can turn in your homework on Monday in the Google album. And it's okay if you don't get it turned in on Monday. I know some of us have crazy lives. So just do it as soon as you can. And I will be awarding, we're gonna start doing it at the end of every month. I may announce it at the beginning of the next month, but an award, and it does have to to do with participation. So if you are participating in the homework and in general, it does increase your chances for uh, winning the prize at the end of each month. Uh, now here's an example of an inanimate object, obviously an apple. Basically just turn it, just keep turning it. Now it's your option. If you want to choose to add color to it, you can do that. I just used some new pastels for this. You might get extra credit <laughs> or extra bonus points. Um, now I just did a cup. I just did a couple of these. Um, so same idea. You can, if you don't feel like doing people or you just really don't like doing the human form, that's totally up to you. All right, guys, look for the specifics in the Patreon on post. Have fun over the weekend and I look forward to seeing all of your beautiful sketches in our Google album. Happy painting! I hope you enjoyed this release of some of my Patreon only content and it's an example of some of the extra content you get when you become a patron. Oh and I have some awesome fun videos on the way here in Monet Cafe so stay tuned, please subscribe and as always God bless and happy painting.